I'm here today with Representative Lori Dolan and Superintendent of Public Instruction, Chris Rakedahl, and very excited to talk a little bit about civic education. Uh, it's very important to me because last year we did Access to Democracy, and this year we're going to talk about civic education as sort of that platform of the 2.0, and excited to have a little more informal conversation today about some different things that are happening. So with that, let's start with a little trivia. So, Representative Dolan, what is the state's paramount duty? So in our Constitution, which was written in 1889, there's another trivia for you, the paramount duty of the state is funding basic education. Superintendent Reichdahl, would you like to answer that also? Yeah, it's to amply fund education, as Representative Dolan has said, and most people think that means more than the basics, and so it really makes a priority out of our public schools with our locally elected school board as the paramount, the number one responsibility of the state, and boy am I glad about that. <laughs> well, Superintendent, talking about the schools, what's happening inside of our schools around civic education? Well, because of the awesome work you all did here over the last two years, we're, we now have a civics requirement. Uh, it will be in high school primarily. Um, it's not a new credit requirement, but out of our three credits of social studies required, a half of those has to be a standalone civics course. So students, in ways we haven't seen in many decades, are getting a deep dive into civics and more than the federal government. Their state legislature, their city council, their school boards, they're seeing it hopefully in a way that um, impacts them more closely than maybe that 3,000 mile away Washington DC they hear about on the news. Excellent and Representative Dolan you've been really instrumental in this also and I know we've had conversations over the interim around other ways that our students and our families can get access to civic education. Can you talk a little bit about what's happening outside of the schools? So outside of the schools there's actually a lot of nonprofits that are working with students doing civics education. There are a lot of ways that middle school, high school, even elementary kids can get involved in civics education. You know, the thing about democracy, it's the best form of government, but it's the hardest form of government because we are making, we're leading our own government. So we have to be informed citizens in order to vote right and, and lead us the way we want to go. Yeah, I agree. A lot of our communities aren't necessarily registered to vote, but they can certainly be, understand the process so they can better advocate for those, um, either for their family or for local jurisdictions. I think the judicial system is doing some civic education. Would anybody like to speak to that? Well, we know we've worked at the superintendent's office, the education office, with our judges across the state in a project where they're trying to get in the classroom more because we often spend a lot of time talking about how bills become law and, and our students are very familiar with the role of the president of the United States or a governor. Sometimes the courts are a little um, obscure to students and so by having our judges come into the classroom they can really explain that part of government and for many students um, it's important they know that so they avoid ever going to see a judge for any reason. Um, so it's pretty powerful learning and our justices on the state Supreme Court have really taken a leadership role on that. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Any final comments around other ways that our families in Washington can get more involved in civic education or civics? So I'll talk a minute about how um, students and their parents can get involved with us as legislators. There's a thing called Capital Classrooms, and it's run through TVW. And I actually was assigned a fifth grade classroom last year, and I met with them like four times over the internet, over like Skype. And it was great fun because we tracked bills. We, they could ask questions about bills as they evolved and they knew how to go on the bill tracker and track the bills. So that's one very powerful way. Another great way is to become pages here at the legislature. If they're 14 to 16 years old, they can come here for a week. And they probably know more about civics education when they leave being a page than their parents do when they get back home. And always important to remind people of our state that at tvw.org, every single hearing, all of the floor activity of our legislature is recorded there. They can go back and look on any issue that they want. We're a really open state thanks to the action of the legislature to keep these things open to the public. And it's a great way to dive into any issue they care about. That's great. So shall we say goodbye? Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.